today. For more on where the best retail picks are, we are joined right now by Lori Wax. Lori helped to manage billions of dollars at Delaware Investments during the past 17 years. She just left and founded Cross Ledge Investments. Lori is joining us now from Philadelphia. Lori, congratulations on launching your own firm. Macy's reporting Wednesday, Nordstrom today. So based on what we saw from Macy's, do you think that is a sign of what we're going to see or is Macy's an exception? Unfortunately, I think that Macy's will prove to be an exception. We knew going into the quarter that they led the traditional department store group in same store sales being up close to 5%. And it's really some company specific initiatives that they've put in place over the past few years that are finally starting to hit their stride. I think that they're taking market share from the likes of JCPenney's, which was up less than 1%, and they report tomorrow. I think we'll see some disappointing news there. The National Retail Federation said last month back-to-back -back school spending may rise as much as 16% this year. This sounds really optimistic to me, given all that we are talking about with consumers pinching pennies. How does that figure strike you? I would agree that that number sounds high. If you look at clothing and shoes, that's over half of back-to-school sales, and that was up only about 4% the month of July, so I'm not sure how it's going to jump to the up 10% that they're predicting for the back-to-school selling season. No question there's been a share shift over the past few years to more of the computer and electronic gadgets that the teens like to buy as they're heading back to school. That they're predicting up about 8%, and that number seems reasonable to me. So, Lori, we know back to school is the second most important selling season for retailers after the end of the year holidays. You follow the teen retailers closely. It seems like denim is a big theme, but I see a lot of companies that are offering some pretty big incentives. I mean, smartphones, money back. Just how much are all these incentives costing the companies? The denim this year, it's always at the top of everyone's back-to-school shopping list, but I really think it's going to be a bloodbath in terms of the pro promotions out there this year. Abercrombie & Fitch, which is very big in this space, they've been giving up a lot of market share, and they've finally drawn a line in the sand and say, we're going to slash prices to get that customer back in the door. They're 40% off of all of their denim at their flagship brand, and Hollister's opening price point is $19.90, and that's really starting to eat into the other teen companies, such as Aeropostale and American. Eagle. Abercrombie was up 7% last month. The other two were just up around 1% or flat. So you see it almost as a sign of desperation. I th there's going to be a lot of desperation in that denim category this year, which does not bode well, given how important denim is to these companies this time of year. To what extent, Lori, are you going to be watching this group, as we mentioned, back to school, second most important after end of the year holidays? What data point do you need to see to make some uh, decisions as far as your portfolio goes for the holidays? Right. Everyone's really on pins and needles as we get the... Get through this August period. The first half of the year, you know, we certainly had some strong early spring selling, really faded over the past few months, and this is going to be a real telltale what we can expect as we head into the holiday season. So far, it's not looking that good, but we will keep our fingers crossed. Lori, thanks so much for joining us. Lori Wax, she is the president of Cross Ledge Investments.